So this is the story of me buying this little house to renovate with barely any experience in renovations. Uh, what I really fell in love with was actually this, this fantastic creek that is um, just below the house. I love it. I can just sit up there and like watch this creek and yeah, it gives me a lot of pleasure. In this video you get to follow the progress that I've made from the beginning to now. I didn't really have a clear vision right away about what I wanted to do. All I knew was that I wanted to do it with reused materials as much as possible. Here is how it's gone. I bought the house in 2022 uh, in the summer and I got access to it almost right away as there was no one living in it. The person who had lived there before was old and had moved out like a year or so before. So there was a lot that hadn't been taken care of. The garden was extremely overgrown. I've never seen anything quite like it actually. It was a lot of weeds, but there was also some little treasures, like nice flowers and, you know, I saw potential behind it all. Okay. I also did some major cleaning work. To be honest, I was a little bit grossed out in the beginning by like the dirt and like mold and yeah, whatnot. There was no mold in the building, but there was like mold in the fridge that I had to clean. And yeah, I was I was a bit disgusted by it. But then after a while I started thinking that like it was quite sad that people had lived that way and that no one had taken care of them or helped them out. So in a way it just felt really good that I'd taken over the house with the with the plan to make it nice again and livable. I don't know if you believe in ghosts or not, but in the beginning, like, I'm pretty sure that the person who lived there was there kind of hanging out, checking me out to see what I was doing. Because there were so many weird little things happening, like, all of a sudden the electricity wouldn't work, then it would work, a lamp would be on, a lamp would be off, like, a tool would fly out of nowhere. So, I don't know if they were happy or unhappy about me being there, but, yeah, I think they were there, definitely. After some thinking, I came to the conclusion that I had to fix the roof and that I would have to begin with that. Because if I didn't fix the roof, I wouldn't really be able to insulate. If I wasn't able to insulate, I wouldn't be able to use the attic. So 
I had to. I spent a week of holiday and when I came back I started scouting the web for used roof tiles and I actually came across a few that I got completely for free apart from not getting the ridge pans. Yeah, I'll get to that. But I got the roof tiles for free so I spent a few days picking them up, driving back and forth and started tearing down the old roof. This was by far one of the hard hardest things. It was so heavy, so dirty. It was just exhausting in every way I can imagine. It really made me realize how important it is to ask for help. I have never been comfortable with asking for help, but now I really had to. So I had so many people coming to help me out, including my entire family, Daniel, of course. Uh, he helped me out so much. And even like a friend of my dad was there to help me clean the roof tiles and yeah. I didn't film very much of the process, mainly because I was really busy just trying to figure out what I was doing. And yeah, it was just so much work just doing the roof, so there was no capacity to also film it. Now it's a bit unfortunate, but at least I have a few little clips from it, which I'm really happy about. When I say it took a really long time, I mean like weeks, many weeks of doing the roof. And I also had to buy the ridge pans separately. So they didn't arrive until October, so that's when I laid them and then it was like totally finished, apart from the chimney. But that's just details. I was really tired when the roof was done. I didn't really want to do much apart from being in the garden. And it was a really good time to buy discounted bushes and trees. So I got, yeah, I got some stuff that I could put in the ground before the frost. I also made some really clever things from the old roof. I took some of the wooden boards to make um, garden beds. And I also took uh, the chips from yeah, the foundation of the roof, basically, and made them into smaller pieces that I could cover up around the new trees and the bushes. Again, I got some invaluable help from my mom and her partner. She helped me cut down a stretch of hedge that I would later dig up all the roots from really opened up the garden so that I could put some more beds for growing stuff. One big thing for me is actually being able to grow some of my own food. I'm not kind of hoping to be self-sufficient by any means, but it's really nice to just be able to go out and grab vegetables, berries, fruits from the garden. So that's something that I really wanted to prioritize quite quickly. It felt really good to plant some new trees as I was taking down an old one. It was leaning into the neighbor so it kind of had to come down and I also saw that it could become pretty good firewood for the next year. Mm. It was nice to just allow myself some downtime and not pressuring myself to do stuff inside. 
But then I found some fiber plaster boards for really cheap on Marketplace and kind of had to go and get them because, again, when you're reusing stuff, you kind of, yeah, you just have to grab it when you find it. The house had a pretty bad smell when I got it and once I started removing the old masonite coverings on the walls the smell also disappeared which was quite nice, gotta say it. I don't think it would have been something that could have been cleaned away. I think it was a good move to get this new fiber plaster boards. Alltså det var ju faktiskt ganska bra tag sedan så satte jag ju också eh, lite buska, alltså hallon, eh, blåbär, äpple, hassar. Men alla de ser ju liksom rätt trötta ut nu. De har ju tappat alla sina löv och sånt. Så det är svårt att veta om de har det bra eller inte. Ja, jävligt snyggt. Snyggt. Är det jag nu? I guess it's kind of classic to wait until the last minute to do things that you really need to do. And that's what I did with the fireplace because I only installed it when it was actually really cold outside and I really had to because I had no other way of heating the house. Sometimes it would be so cold that I would have to light a fire, go for a brisk walk, get the blood flowing and then come back and be able to work when the house was a little bit heated. My hands would be so cold that I could barely hold any tools. Yeah, it was quite tough. I also had the intention of painting with linseed oil paint but with the temperature being really low it just basically never dried so that was just a really slow process of painting one layer, waiting for two days, painting another layer 
I actually gave up on the idea because it just took so long. I got a hold of a used door, which I got some help with installing. I didn't have the confidence then to put it in myself. It replaced the only little small window that was towards the creek. It really made me dream of this wooden deck outside that I could walk barefoot onto. But yeah, that still seemed quite far away in winter. I have grubbled and grubbled and grubbled. Och bara kommit fram till att det får bli en steg upp. Och då tänker jag nu bara återanvända den stegen som redan finns. Det är denna. Och här. Typ. Det blir väl då ett hål. Och sen får man liksom lita stegen här emot och liksom trycka in den lite mot väggen. Jag tycker den här genomgången är så pass viktig att den vill jag behålla. För jag vill liksom ha att jag ska kunna gå ifrån köket och ut genom altanen. Ja. Knowing it was pretty much of a big job to insulate the attic as redoing the outside of the roof, I really had to brace myself and then I ordered all that I needed to got it delivered. And then another month or so begun of doing some pretty hard work. I never made a video of this, mainly because it seemed really boring, but also because I was so miserable at the time. It was really tough work, and for some reason I kind of forgot to ask for help. Uh, it's a little chump, I feel cold. But I'm going to try to hold it for a few days, at least. Få lite gjort där uppe. Yep. My dad actually came to help me though, thankfully, because otherwise I never would have been able to get the trusses up.
Ja, den måste gå längre ut än några ja, meter. Ja. ja. Ska vi banka i någonting där? Så länge bara. Ja. Om du bara kan hålla här. Den är typ nästan. Så jag får bara... Ja. There's actually quite a nice floor in one part of the attic making me think that they probably had it like a summer room or something staying up here which kind of seemed crazy to think that people would have slept up here because it was basically like yeah open straight out so there would be wind coming in and things like that but um, yeah that was way back when later on I would also find traces of an old staircase that went upstairs. In the middle of all the everlasting work in the attic, I also did some little things. It seemed kind of silly at the time, but it really helped me to just see some progress. So I fixed all the window boards, sanded them and exposed the wood underneath all of the paint. mind has actually been one of the hardest things about doing this renovation. It's been difficult making decisions with everything from deciding the layout of the house, what kitchen to choose, how to do things, what materials to pick. Once I had decided the layout of the kitchen, I made a drawing of it and then I scouted Marketplace again, looking for kitchens that could suit what I wanted. It wasn't the greatest timing because I was really busy doing other things, but I found this kitchen and I just had to go and get it. That was the part of the deal, taking it down, disassembling it and storing it. And I had to store it in the house, in what would become sort of the living room. But it worked really well as a temporary kitchen up until I had the time to install it. I also finally decided where to put the ladder to the attic. 
and uh, made a hole for it. Det här är typ det riktigt roliga att börja måla med den färgen som det ska vara. Det ska bli jättekul. Jag kör direkt. Jag har ingen tid att snacka här. At this stage, I was really longing for spring. I couldn't wait for it to come. And then spring finally came. It was so amazing to see everything turn green. There would be flowers coming up out of the ground. There would also be a lot of weeds coming up from the ground. But I didn't think about that then. Then I was just really excited to be able to be outdoors. <laughs> this was also when I installed the biggest windows of the house, which maybe actually transformed the house the most. Oh my god, Nick! Men ja, jag har i alla fall sett en människa som har målat element med linoljefärg. Alltså jag tänker att det har man säkert gjort för Så det måste ju gå. Ja, jag provar. Och någon gång i framtiden kommer jag lägga ut en, en helt ärlig utvärdering av hur det blev. Promise.
då är äntligen det här elementet redo att bli målat. Jag tror det har lagt typ 10 timmar kanske på att skapa det på färg och då är det inte ens liksom helt renskapat men nästan. Sen har jag slipat och, och så. Så hoppas jag att det blir helt okej. Okay. Det kommer inte bli perfekt. Men så får det bli. Alltså, åh nej. Jag har ju försökt att liksom, få till det så bra som möjligt här ute. Det är där man ser mest. Men här är det också svårt att stoppa med en annan anledning. Men det slog ju mig. Min allra bästa vän kunde bli den här skunden i vår dag. Och nu har jag ju liksom hittat hacket. Jag kommer ju aldrig med att hålla ett element med pensel kan jag säga. Och då är det ju bara liksom med om den. Josa lite fram och tillbaka så. Varje gång det blåser så är jag livrädd för att den jävla flaggstången ska... De har någon kul för den står och vinglar hela tiden. Och den står liksom helt löst i sitt fundament typ. Och ja, men, vi har ju klurat ett tag nu på hur man ska kunna ta ner den här utan att få med sig den telledningen som är där borta. Så den ska ju liksom sakta ledas ner. Det går inte att fälla åt detta hållet. Och nu har vi nog kommit på hur det ska gå till. Once I was done with the attic, I had a bunch of pallets left over. And from that, my mom and her partner made this outdoor storage. I didn't actually film that. It was just one of those times I got too excited to remember to film it. Uh, but basically it's just made from pallets. And I got this like old, yeah, a little roof to put on top of it. Really happy about it. I was so sick of having stuff laying around everywhere. And now like all the wood and stuff is covered from rain. For my birthday, I organized a little working party. I had both friends and family over to work for a couple of hours. I made a pretty long to-do list and uh, I think we checked off more or less everything on it. I don't think I can say too many times how grateful I am for all the help that I'm getting with this project. 
even if I do spend a lot of time here by myself, and sometimes it is really a struggle, it just gives me so much energy when people come here and they haven't been here for a while. It doesn't matter how small the contribution is, because every contribution is progress. So yeah, I'm so grateful for every help that I get. I had no plan whatsoever changing the water pipe, but um, when I got a plumber here, he basically refused to do anything with my pipes unless he got to change that. And in the end, I was quite happy that was done because it was really old. It was 80 years old, I think. This spring and summer I also worked on getting the kitchen finished, which I did. I have made a video of that, so I'm not going to go into detail here. I'm really happy with the result though. My plan for the summer was actually to replace all the facade panels and replace it with new wood. But it just rained so much during my holiday that I didn't really have the opportunity to do it. And um, yeah, that was a bit annoying because I have, I have planned to uh, repaint it with a new color. It's going to be military green with black details, which I think is going to be amazing with sort of the forest as a backdrop. But um, yeah, didn't get around to it. But instead, I got this wooden deck that I built, which I'm also really happy about. So it turned out quite well in the end. I've painted a little sample here. It's actually not the color it's going to be. It didn't really quite turn out, but uh, it's like something along those lines at least. And the reason stuff is white here was because I just like did one coat. So now, yeah, it just looks like this for a while. That's okay. Here is where I'm at right now. Let's go inside. 
so upstairs I'm currently sitting here to work here's my bike it's indoors because I don't know still have some tools inside that's okay I'm fine with that I have really had to let go of perfection because since I don't really have any experience with doing a renovation like this things just don't turn out exactly the way that I want them and I'm starting to become fine with that everything isn't perfect and yeah that's just how it is This is kind of becoming a living room. It has, since the kitchen moved out, actually been a nice little space to hang out in. It has been somewhat clean, which is like, yeah, I've really needed that to be able to relax between working and yeah, whatever. And the bathroom at its current state. Going upstairs, up at the attic. Um, I actually sleep up here because it is the most quiet and dark space that there is. I have gotten used to it being messy and unfinished. So yeah, I'm cool with that. At some point it is going to be a really cozy place to sleep, work, have some quiet time. It's so quiet up here. I love it. So what about future plans? I have so many, I have a list. I actually have to look at the list because otherwise I won't remember. But yeah, obviously repainting the house. Uh, more garden work. Um, yeah, there's still tons to be done. Um, I wanna finish the upstairs, putting plaster on the walls up there too. Um, yeah. Um, I also wanna finish the bathroom, which I've started. And um, that is maybe not that far away actually. It'll be in my upcoming videos for sure. So I want to get a heating system in place, um, which is also in the pipeline, like for real. Um, I think it's probably going to be here maybe next week, maybe the week after that. We'll see, we'll see. I want to move the fireplace into the living room. Um, I have some electricity work to do, not very much, but like little stuff upstairs and yeah, you'll see. I want to paint all the windows. I want to get the Etronite to the recycling station. It's right now behind the shed. Yeah, this is the old roof. Um, it's Etronite. It's actually really expensive to take it to the recycling station, which is crazy. It doesn't do any damage here, but it will be nice to get rid of it. I want to get a chicken coop with chickens. Um, I would want it to be right here. You have to use your wild imagination to see it before you. Yeah, did I mention the facade? I would really want to get an outdoor shower. I mean, I will have a shower inside, but showering outside is really nice. This is my current setup. That is my current setup. That's where I'm standing. I also want to fix the shed. It's in a bad state, actually. Um, some places there are holes and I know that there are mice in there and someone who is also really messy has just been like throwing stuff in here 